Hey everybody, it's me Kaloni and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Woo woo, I feel all bright and highlighted today. We're having a great day. Today I'm gonna show you what's in my purse. I've never, I don't, I actually think, I'm almost positive I've never done one of these videos before. So, this will be our first one, I'm very excited. Here's my purse, let's get, let's get started. Oh, this is my little Dior saddlebag, nude. It's a little dirty because I'm, obviously it's my everyday bag. But I got this last year for my birthday. I bought it for myself for my 20th birthday. And it's crazy to think so today, I don't know when this video is gonna be posted, but this will be, it's Thursday, August 26th. So it is exactly actually four weeks one month until my 21st birthday so honestly i'm in shock over that i'm sure a lot of you guys have known me from like dance films and stuff like i was literally 12 or 13 so crazy i'm about to be 21 but yes this purse i got for my birthday last year so i still use it to this day it's pretty big you'd be shocked how much you can fit in here so i don't even know what's in here i couldn't tell you what's in here but we're gonna find out together let's get started okay okay so i guess first things first is my wallet this is a little Gucci wallet. It holds like all my cards and things in here. Actually, funny story about this wallet. When I went to Coachella, whatever the last Coachella that there was, so what was that like 2018, 2019? 2019 maybe, that's pretty crazy. Very excited for this year, but um, this wallet was lost at some point. It fell out of my purse when we were dancing in one of the tents and it was at like 3 p.m. so it was early, fell out of my purse and I thought I lost it. I thought it was completely gone. That was on the first day of Coachella and I never went to Lost and Found because I was like, there's no way at Coachella that my wallet is just magically gonna appear and like the lines were so long and whatever. So I was just like, I'm honestly just gonna wait it out. And then I found out that Coachella does this thing where they do, they put, if it didn't get picked up in the Lost and Found, they post everything on like Lost and Found website for Coachella. So I went on there and my wallet was on the Lost and Found Coachella. So all I had to do was pay for the shipping to get it back to my house. You just have to like prove that it's your wallet. So like I had to say what was in there and stuff, but obviously like my credit cards and things were in there. So whoever the person is that returned my wallet is a little angel. I also do this thing where sometimes, at the time, I don't do this anymore, but I would put like my ID and one credit card in my phone case. So I was like fine for the whole weekend. That's why I wasn't really stressing about it because I still had money and stuff. But anyways, thought I would do a little story, but we're still thriving today. We're still thriving since then. Next, obviously my car keys, my house keys, and then I have this cute little keychain on it because I also have another funny story about my keys. I have, I lose everything, but this is cute. It says this little, little line, you know, the Lizzo line. Um, very cute, we love, but something funny why I added this little chain on my keys um, because so at my gym, like where I do my personal training, I guess it's just like a Range Rover is just like a rich mom Scottsdale car, I guess, and everyone has one. So I had my keys sitting by like an equipment or something, I don't remember. And I didn't go buy that equipment for a long time because I was working out with my trainer somewhere else or something. I come back to leave, my keys were gone. Some mom took my keys and we couldn't figure out who it was and I was like, literally like carless. I don't have my keys, I don't have anything. And I think my parents were out of town too, so like I couldn't get my spare keys or something. Like there was like a whole thing. So I was carless and keyless. And we had to like watch the surveillance to see which person took my keys. But I was also like, I just understand how you take my keys. Anyways, she took my keys. That's that story. Okay, moving on to the next. I have some headphones because I feel like I, if I like randomly like decide to go get my nails done, get my eyelashes done or like something like that, or if you're just like shopping or something, I always like to have music on or a podcast. So I have these, yes, I am using the ones with the strings. Um, another story, when I was flying this past weekend, I had my AirPods in, and you know like the new pro ones, they don't stay in your ears for some reason. So I was sleeping on the flight, and I guess one fell out, and then I stayed on the plane, but I had a, I had like a layover, so I couldn't like look for too long. I looked for like 10 minutes with the flight attendant, and we couldn't find my AirPods, so I had to just like leave without the AirPods. Very tragic. As you can tell, I lose everything, so life's great. 
Next, I have sunglasses. I love these sunglasses. They're so dope. Kind of look cool with like this outfit. They obviously don't match everything, but they're just like my favorite sunglasses right now. So I feel like since I know that they're in my purse, I wear something to match them. They are from Naked Wolf. It's like a shoe brand, but they have glasses now, I guess. They're like really sturdy and I don't know. I just feel like a, like a cool girl. On to the next. This is boring, but a hair tie. In Arizona, it is so flippin' hot that sometimes if you're just like out and about or doing something, you just want to put your hair up. So I always have a hair tie on me because it's a necessity. I also feel like I always lose my hair ties and like never have a hair tie. So I try to keep one in my purse because sometimes if I'm like running late to the gym or I don't know, just like need a hair tie for something, I know that I'm always gonna have one in my purse and I bring my purse with me everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Like I bring my purse. Every time I get in the car, I have my purse, which means I always have a hair tie. So if I need it, got one. Just one singular hair tie. And I make sure to replace it every time because it's just hot. Honestly, I more or less have a hair tie because it's hot and I wanna put my hair up. Like it is, let's see what the degrees are. It is 109 degrees. Yeah, 109 degrees in Scottsdale right now. So, it is hot. I don't know what, why I'm here and it's hot, but I am. But the thing is, is in Arizona, we have like four bad months of like heat, like heat stroke. And then the rest of the months are like literally perfect weather, like couldn't ask for anything better. So, Arizona still is best. 10 out of 10, love the state. Moving on, I have my lip combo. So first, this is my go-to lip liner. People have actually, on TikTok especially, been asking me what my lip combo is. And this right here is it, but I don't have my gloss because I ran out of my gloss. But if I'm not wearing gloss, this is it. It is Iconic Nude by Charlotte Tilbury. I've literally gone to the bottom of this lip liner. I think I, this is my sixth time buying this liner which means that it really is my favorite. It definitely has more of like a, if you're like more like fair skin toned, it definitely would come off a lot darker on you. But if you're like more tan, then obviously this will look um, kind of more like neutral on you. Like I think especially whenever I have a spray tan, this looks really great. If I feel a little pale, sometimes it comes off like a little too brown, a little too dark, but I love when my lip liners have like a darker undertone, so like a browner undertone, so that's kind of what more this is. But if you're looking for a lip liner that's less brown, do Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. That used to also be my favorite, but now I'm not really into the pinky tones. That's why I've been using this one. 10 out of 10 favorite. This lipstick is also Charlotte Tilbury. I love their lip products. I honestly love Charlotte Tilbury right now. It's one of my favorite makeup brands. This is the Kim KW, and it is a really like light pink, like really, really light pink um, lipstick. I actually stole this from my mom last year, and she was so mad at me because I stole it from her. And then she ended up buying me my own because I stole hers, and she was mad that I stole hers. So for Christmas, this was my stocking stuffer, was this lipstick. And it's perfect because I just do like a little, uh, dab in the center so it's like my lips are lighter on the inside and like darker on the outside it's kind of the look I go for and then this makes it like less matte obviously I don't think it's matte it's more like of a like it would say whatever. it's more of like a creamy lip color but I'm obsessed with it okay I think that's all that's in here oh and then a, a Jolly Ranch cover <laughs> sometimes oh yeah in here is just a mask you know just in case I gotta throw it on at any time I have like a little pocket in the back so this is kind of where random things go honestly one thing that's not in here right now that I usually like to have is gum but there's no gum in here right now so I need to go to the store and buy some gum but that is everything that is in my purse I hope you enjoyed this video and I'm gonna try and film more videos like I always say make sure to like comment subscribe and Comment down below what kind of videos you want to see from me or what videos you want to see 
Next, I like to do videos that you guys want to see, obviously. I hope you enjoyed this video. I love you all so, so, so very much. I hope you have a great rest of your day, a great night, a great morning, whatever it is. 